All right, folks, so I've got a little bit of a question for you. Let's say, hypothetically speaking, you are the four-term incumbent mayor of Buffalo, New York, and all of a sudden this insurgent socialist candidate comes out of nowhere, beats you in a Democratic Party primary, and takes your job. At that point, what do you do? Well, if you are Byron Brown, then now you would launch a sore loser write-in campaign after you were defeated in the Democratic Party primary because that's exactly what he's doing and he's claiming that his constituents want him to do this. The very ones who voted him out of office. For more on this, we go to Sharon Zhang of Truthout who explains Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown on Monday announced that he is launching a write-in campaign to challenge socialist mayoral candidate India Walton in November's general election. Quote, I am very proud to announce tonight that I will be a candidate for mayor as a write-in in the November general election, said Brown, saying that supporters have reached out to encourage him to launch the campaign to challenge Walton again. Though Walton won the Democratic primary last week by about seven points, Brown has refused to concede. Instead, Brown, an establishment Democrat, appeared to throw Walton's win into question when he announced the write-in campaign. It is important to know that no election is completed. No election is completed until the general election takes place, said Brown. He also said that the primary isn't over yet either, and there are still a number of absentee ballots that have yet to be counted, though he acknowledged that the results were unlikely to change. After questioning the results of the primary, Brown continued to borrow directly from Republicans' playbook, attacking Walton and fear-mongering about socialism. There is tremendous fear that has spread across this community. People are fearful about the future of our city. They are fearful about the future of their families. They are fearful about the future of their children said Brown, and they have said to me that they do not want a radical socialist occupying the mayor's office in Buffalo City Hall. Right, they're fearful about their futures and their city, hence why they elected someone different. You very clearly haven't been satisfactory. I mean, you, you know, you had your time in office and people decided to go with someone new. They chose to go in a radically different direction and opt for someone who genuinely cares about working people, who wants to tackle poverty in Buffalo head on. So, um, take the L. But no, this individual, like many Democrats, you're choosing to be a sore loser. I mean, the same thing was true with Joe Crowley after AOC defeated him in the primary. There was this whole kerfuffle about him being on the working family's party line and him refusing to remove himself. They wanted to remove him. Uh, he refused. He said, well, I can't do this because of X, Y, Z reasons. But I mean, we all know he was clinging to hope that maybe there'd be some possibility that there'd be an upset in the end. And he wouldn't actually lose his job. But I mean, we know exactly what's going to happen here. You're just going to look ridiculous. You're launching a write-in campaign and you're unwilling to accept defeat after you lost. Decisively so. So, I mean, you're, you're embracing Trump's tactics. Now you're fear-mongering about socialism. And truly, if you cared about the people, the best thing that you can do is assist the incoming mayor who is very likely to win, India Walton. But you're choosing to not do that. You're choosing to be divisive. You're choosing to launch a write-in campaign off of this idea that so many people have talked to you and they're just really afraid about this socialist that's coming in. Look, if that were true, they wouldn't have elected her over you. You lost, let it go. But I mean, either way, all this is going to do is it's going to help India Walton win. And I say that because now people like myself who don't live in Buffalo, who technically have no stake in the race, I feel inclined to want to donate to India Walton because now she's dealing with the Democratic Party establishment who's refusing to accept her victory. And that makes me want to get involved. That makes me and people watching my show want to donate to her campaign and perhaps sign up to phone bang for her and canvas for her because every single time there's a victory, there's going to be this sort of sore loser campaign or pushback or attempts to delegitimize the win of a socialist or insurgent progressive, and I'm sick of it. So look, if you want to get involved, then uh, I will put links below so you can contribute to India Walton's campaign, because it's clear that the establishment isn't just going to give up that easily, even after they've lost an election. So, uh, I mean, we have to make sure that India Walton does indeed win, because... You know, this victory, even though it's highly likely, it's not yet a foregone conclusion. So support India Walton and shame on Byron Brown for just making a fool of himself and being a sore loser. I mean, you lost, just accepted the defeat, uh, concede, and, you know, maintain whatever dignity you have left as a politician.